Hello everyone, my name is Webb. I'm here today to tell you that you are fabulous and today I'm going to answer uh, Vogue's 73 questions. Let's go. What book are you currently reading? Um, A Promised Land by Barack Obama. Have you ever auditioned for a reality show or competition? Yes, America's Got Talent and American Idol. My least favorite food, Indian food. Favorite style of dance? Tap dancing. Um, have you ever cried while watching a movie? Yes, Jerry Maguire, um, starring Tom Cruise and Cuba Cutting Jr. and The Normal Heart, starring Mark Ruffalo and Matt Bomer. Oof, cried like a baby. What is your favorite movie? Pretty Woman. Favorite dating app? Scruff. It seems like I've only met guys from this dating app and it seems that every time I do, they always look like their photos. Who is America's sweetheart, Ryan Seacrest? Come on, guys. Um, what makes you smile the most? Proposals. Like when someone proposes someone and they say yes and they're crying? Come on. Um, what song can you listen to on repeat? I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. Um, what is your biggest regret? Okay, biggest regret would be having sex with like total strangers. I've done it a couple times. It's not fun. Both of the guys are really nervous usually. Um, and it, usually I've been, a, you know, in situations where I've never seen the guy again. It just makes you feel really empty. Not good. Wish I had not made that choice. What's one city you've always dreamed of visiting to? Paris. Um, swim trunks or Speedo? Speedo. <laughs> uh, favorite drink at Starbucks? An iced caramel latte. Um, what is your worst fear? That someone will call me fat. I mean, men are so shallow, you guys. You guys, I, I think about this every day. I even, like, turn in the side, like, in the mirror in the morning to make sure this is all in place. <laughs> Favorite line from a movie? Oh, okay, I gotta get this right. Um, um, exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people uh, just don't shoot their husbands. They just don't. Elwitz from Legally Blonde. <laughs> well, uh, who's your best friend? Temo Fergoso. Uh, which award would you most likely win? An Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, or a Tony? A Tony Award. <laughs> what is your theme song? Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain. Uh, what was your best subject in school? Geography. What was your worst subject in school? Math. I almost didn't graduate high school because of math. Uh, coffee or tea? Coffee. Uh, favorite day of the week? Sunday, because Sunday is award shows, you know, Emmys, Grammys, Oscars, and Tonys, and the Miss Universe pageant. Heels or flats? Heels. They make your legs look fantastic. Woo! Uh, what videos do you uh, watch most on YouTube? The Graham Norton Show. It's hilarious, you guys. Um, what is your best quality? Honesty. What is your worst quality? I talk too much. And when I say that, like, I talk too much, this it happens especially on the phone. I kind of like interrupt people, like Peppermint Patty from Charlie Brown. I don't let people get a word in edgewise. I'm Peppermint Patty, everyone else is Charlie Brown. Not good, guys. Let other people talk. <laughs> what is your, who is your favorite activist? Greta Thunberg and Malala Yousafzai, it's a tie. Uh, favorite flower, a rose. Favorite color, yellow. Uh, favorite month, June. LGBTQ Pride Month, everybody. It's so much fun, you can feel the love. Favorite season, summer, top or bottom? 100% bottom, you guys. Like, 1,000%. I mean, look at my body. Look at these arms. These aren't topping arms. I have the arms of Angelina Jolie. Um, what is the worst job you ever had? I worked at a Red Lobster in Brea, California. It was awful. I was a host, and they would have the host um, wake up the lobsters that you put in that big tank that you see when you first walk in. So you wake them up and you wear these gloves and you have to put the frozen lobsters in like a bus tub and wake them up and they have to pee and poop. And then you put them in the tank. However, people would like keep coming in the door to get seated and we would take our poopy lobster gloves and seat people while holding menus. There are so many health code violations. I'm so glad so many corporate restaurants are being closed all over the country. They're horrible. <laughs> What is the coolest job you've ever had? Being a background actor, extra, and body double in Los Angeles on film and television sets. Where's the craziest place you've ever had sex? In my 2007 Honda Fit. 
<laughs> <There it is. laughs> uh, favorite place you've ever visited? India. Um, who is the sexiest YouTuber? Sam Cushing, of course. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Tyler Oakley. Uh, favorite TV show? Dancing with the Stars. And you guys, I would love to be the very first guy to dance with another guy on that show and win that Mirabal trophy. Favorite, fla favorite flavor of ice cream? Cookies and cream. What is your favorite body part? My ass. Come on, you guys. It is perfect shape. It is tight. It's fabulous. What is your least favorite body part? My back. Just because I was born with scoliosis, my spine isn't quite straight. And so to stand straight all day, I really compensate. So definitely it gets tired at night and I love, you know, going to bed at night because then I like to relax. So that's definitely the least favorite body part. Uh, who's your favorite singer? Whitney Houston. There's no question. Best singer in the world ever. <laughs> um, who is your celebrity crush? Zac Efron. If you could go to brunch with anyone, who would it be? Jenny from the block. J-Lo, God. <laughs> favorite fashion designer, Tom Ford. Okay, not only does he know how to dress a man, but I want his babies. He's so gorgeous. Um, if you could film a love scene with any actor, who would it be? Ryan Reynolds. Uh, who is, what is your favorite food? Mexican food. Tamales, burritos, chimichangas, the spicier the better. Tacos, guys, love it. What is one thing people would be surprised to know about you? Okay, this is, I'm a bad gay man. I have only watched like 20 seconds of RuPaul's Drag Race. I've never watched an entire episode. I love RuPaul. He's done so many amazing things for the LGBTQ community and the drag queens and the queens. I, I know, I'm bad. I will watch it one day, a whole episode, I promise. <laughs> Do you have an alter ego? Yes, Jessica. Her name's, my name's Jessica. And mostly because my sister calls me Jessica, but also she believes that if I was a star, I'd be Jessica Simpson. Have you ever been mistaken for a woman all the time? Especially with this longer hair and the fact that I wear a mask, it happens a lot at work when I'm serving tables. People call me her, she, ma'am. I just go with it now. It happens like at least, yeah, at least 70% of the time. Uh, what is your drag name? So, okay guys, drag name. You take the first pet you ever owned and the first street you lived on. So my drag name is Grace Deer. Wouldn't that be perfect for RuPaul's Drag Race with antlers? Oh my God, I think the dresses and the antlers, perfect. Um, what is the best compliment you have ever received? One of my friends told me one time that I was the first person, male, female, or non-binary, that when he was spending time with me, he forgot about time. Like he was having such a good time, he forgot about time. And that happened with no other person. That was a very big compliment and um, really uh, made my heart just burst with joy. And it was very sweet. What is your worst habit? Oh, farting, you guys. I, <laughs> I do it way too much, especially at work. I like crop dust tables all the time. Um, and they always smell really bad. But like these people who say, oh, you just hold it till you get to the bathroom when you're not with anyone. I don't know how people do that. I can't hold it in. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so disgusting, stupid bitch. Um, what do you usually eat for dinner? So I usually come home uh, at night very late uh, from work. Um, so usually it's like a burrito, frozen pizza, macaroni and cheese, something simple. Um, what is one thing you wish you knew at the age of 19? Do not beg or ask for a man's attention. You're better than that. That's, that was not good. <laughs> uh, what's your pet peeve? People who cannot dance on timing to a song. How can you not hear it? You know what I mean? Like the music, the rhythm. Oh, that as being a dancer my whole life, that one really drives me nuts. <laughs> what's the most adventurous thing you've ever done in your life? I travel with one of my friends, Marina, who I met at work at the Glenwood Canyon Brew Pub. We went to Serbia, Montenegro, and Italy and traveled all around. It was really fun. And we traveled with her boyfriend too, Marco, and he was a great tour guide. What's your idea of a perfect date? I would say talking, eating, drinking, listening to music, and like watching a sunset. Like go over like a mountain or an ocean. That would be nice. Um, have you ever joined the Mile High Club? No, but no, it's a bucket list thing. 
Favorite cocktail, a lemon drop martini. <laughs> Do you get a flu shot every year and did you get the coronavirus vaccination? Yes and yes. Uh, favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, Chipotle, love Mexican food guys. Favorite concert you have ever attended? Taylor Swift, uh, 2011 Speak Now World Tour at the Ball Arena. And now it's the Ball Arena, it changed. It was the Pepsi Center, but Pepsi Center, Pepsi is losing all their money. Um, First concert you ever attended, uh, Lady A, uh, Country Jam, I think it was like 2009 maybe? Uh, beard, stubble, or clean shaven? Beard. Smooth man or hairy man? Hairy. Uh, favorite fragrance or perfume? Uh, Noir by Tom Ford. Uh, favorite social media platform? YouTube. Of course. What is your favorite sport to watch on TV? Football. Um, what gay tribe is your favorite? Geek, jock, college, muscle, bear, otter, twink, or daddy? Daddy. And if, <laughs> and you know, and these daddies these days, if they're real sexy, they're referring to themselves as zaddies. Oh! If they're rich, that makes it even better. And who's your spirit animal? Jonathan Van Ness from Queer Eye. Yay! I answered those 73 Vogue questions, you guys, and I want to hear your 73 questions. Let's get to know a little more about you and you, all your fabulousness every single day. I love you all so much. Remember uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, everyone. Please uh, like, comment, and share this video. Turn on those bell notifications to get reminders about new videos. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We'll see you next Friday.